Oh, I'm lightheaded. So over the past few weeks, we've been taking a look back at the entire Maverick fam and looking at everyone's evolution and their growth. And it's been awesome to look at. And now it's time to talk about your boy. And I'm, and I'm excited, but I'm nervous at the same time because I'm proud of the growth and the, and the evolution and, and how much it's inspired a lot of you guys that watch. But then it's still looking back, right? And, and I think when I look back, some of my mindset, my decision making, my thinking, just, just who I was at that time is embarrassing to me right now. Like it's genuinely embarrassing. Yo, it's that boy Deion J, something different than you do. Like smacking my face. <laughs> That's how Juke looks right now. <laughs> That's why every time I see Juke, Juke I just want to smack him. Like that's just how Juke look like a young Thundercat. They just think he knows a lot and he don't like too. And so for that reason, it's hard to look back at times and painful and disgusting and cringy and just like really ninja. But you know seeing the growth the the evolution part of it that is what i'm excited about and i love and, and i'm excited to keep having that right and continue to keep growing so that's kind of the emotions i got going into this having dion as an older brother is cool it's pretty awesome it's because he's just he's cool he's chill he's always down to help any way he can and he knows a lot of information so it's like every time i talk to him i learn Favorite memory with D hands down is the first time he saw the ocean. It's like if you know somebody and they've never seen the ocean and you love them, figure out a way that you could take them to see the ocean. It's like a, just an indescribable experience to be with somebody when they see the ocean for the first time. Like if you grew up seeing the ocean, you're like, whatever, it's the ocean. But no, like you've never seen it. You can't have any grasp of how big and wonderful and like amazing it is. And we went to this network marketing conference. It was like like our first like real like trip together we were excited we had money i had booked us in like this really cheap <laughs> like ghetto hotel we didn't even end up staying there we pulled up and i was like about to cry our rental car that we got was just a hoopty like the hubcaps were different colors because we had to go with the cheap place because at the time we were at the age where you have to have like the age like rental fee like you can't really like rent a car for like a good price until you're 25. we went to san diego and just had a complete blast and we went to the ocean for the first time and it was just a magical experience hey. camera is shaking, shut up and enjoy scenery. Because we are on two-person bike right now. <laughs> so Dion has to steer, I have handlebars, see? Um, we both have to pedal <laughs> and yeah. No, 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 what is wow. wrong with you? Wow. <laughs> you must hold on, give me no hand. <laughs> You're gonna give me Perk back that here. Do you work. see how this works? Those of you that know Dion know he's a crazy person. And trusting him and mine and my baby wife on the back of his bike right now is difficult. <laughs> Any words, bicycle man? No way! No! Put you, hold on! <laughs> I'm gonna kill him! <laughs> Gotta go so I can watch out for my life. Bye! All right, just got done with our bike ride. What's about to happen right now? Yeah? About to take some steps into the ocean? Just a few, I don't, I don't mess with sharks, so. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Come on. It'll probably be cold, get ready. Oh, it's going. <laughs> Oh, a jellyfish! Oh. It's not a jellyfish! We're standing at about an inch of water! Yeah, oh. It's a jellyfish! I think it was this! <laughs> There's Dion's jellyfish! Oh. Oh, you said, oh, oh, it's coming! <laughs> Going further? Okay! I see you! Look at that! said, just kidding! Ouch! <laughs> Actually, we're doing pretty decent. For Dion's first time in the ocean, he definitely ain't 
showing no fear. I know his madness is probably getting kind of chilly. <laughs> I'm like, I'm in here. Y'all know my legs are long. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> like, <laughs> vacation. We've had so much fun out here. Babe, come here. How was it? First time in the ocean. Easy. It was easy? You weren't I think, scared? I think the sharks were more scared of me. Sharks were scared of you? Any jellyfish encounters? Real jellyfish encounters? Yeah. <laughs> really? Like if you like grabbed my ankle. Oh. I had to shake them off. You shook them off like, like it was nothing. Ah! Ah, okay. That's what's up. You gonna peace out? <laughs> that was like our first real vacation. And after that, I mean, it's just been a blast. But all of our vacations have been highlights for me of our relationship because we typically do them like around my birthday because he doesn't care about his birthday. <laughs> and um, our anniversary. So that's how we ended up in Dubai and how we did the Bahamas or he surprised me with trips to Orlando and things like that. So I just love going on vacation. I love getting on a plane with him, just the two of us and just flying and traveling. But yeah, had to pick one. So seeing the ocean for the first time was really, really cool. My favorite memory that I've had of Dion was when we went to California for a weekend. We went for a like a business conference. It was cool. We learned a lot of information. I think the best part is probably just hanging out, chilling, learning a lot. And it was funny. We we were like at the airport. We went to the airport early, so we were there for like seven hours. And I was just like being annoying and bugging him, and that was funny. It was a funny time. It was a cool experience over in California. What kind of out there for Trent? Hey Trent. Come here, stop working. Come get a rest of this tour. So it's cool because you got like my quarters and then you got my little bro's quarters. The reason, don't be weird yet, hold up. The reason I'm gonna let him do the tour is because I'm proud of him. We actually out here, he's a young entrepreneur. Yeah. Right, I ain't have no one to show me the rope so I had to figure all this crap out by myself. Yeah. Now you gotta come in for a sentimental hug. I'm just <laughs> proud of him because he took the initiative and wanted to come out and, and spend a lot of money to go to like a business mastermind and learn more and just get get better at this stuff. So finish the tour, Trent. What'd you already do? I just did the front area. This is a bedroom. All right, so this is my room. It was supposed to be my room. Was it? Yeah. Oh, we got fat burger. We gotta get fat burger back home, man. That stuff's fine. Dude, we gotta get fat burger before we leave, dude. I'm done with it. This is a safe to hide the money. Yup. Yeah. Secure bags. Oh wait, hold up. You need to show my bathroom area. Oh yeah, this is where. This where them high level doo doos go down. <laughs> this is where we take a shower. Right, this that's is. that's where you take the shower. Yeah. yeah. That's the high level doo doo. All right. Yeah. Yeah. This is a big living room, I think. That's like the small one though. Oh yeah. This is This is where you do the, the amateur doo doos. This is oh yeah. This is that is, your bathroom? Well no. Oh right. this is right here. Yep. Ah. Yeah, yeah. This is where the doo doo action go down. This is this every time we come to this hotel, this is where we're gonna go, huh? I'm with it. And this is my room right here. Ah. Hey, you got a nice beef. Oh yeah. Yep. Little Look that Beverly way, that's Hills a cool way. type. Oh, yeah, so that's a cool little view. Mm -hmm. I'm with it. And this is where I sleep right here. This yeah. Corner. So how oh, did you sleep? Soft. What position did you sleep in last night? Like this. Oh, that's lit. You look so comfy, <laughs> Trent. Hold on, let me zoom in. You. Oh, he out. I think he's a. He's a. The bed is that good. Trent, you gotta wake up. We gotta finish. Okay, wake up, man. Wake you scared up. me. Jeez, yeah, 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 yeah. So. 
This is where we keep Linda if she ever comes. Mm, Linda, nah, Linda gonna oh. stay. <laughs> nah, 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 we good. Really been enjoying Cali, man. Like, especially the whole Beverly Hills, like, West Hollywood area. Like, this view never, ever gets old. But don't get it twisted, man. I couldn't live up here, man. The drive up here is so crazy. The road is so narrow. Like, we almost died eight times trying to get up here through the Uber. But the view is just so much doper during the day. I don't know how you can have that house, though. Like, how you don't feel like it ain't just gonna slide up, like slide down the hill when you sleep. But, hey, dope to look at. All right, I just like documenting this just because I'm proud of this little ninja. Trent just made his very first hire. How does it feel, Trent? I'm good. You are officially a boss. Like, you can say that. I'm, a, I'm quitting. I'm done with my own job. You better not, ninja. <laughs> See, look, it's going to his head already. Nah. I don't gotta right, go matter over fact, the next day. <laughs> matter of fact, you showing up right after school tomorrow. We're recording. Well, actually, that's what I had canes for the first time I had canes, and it was good. It became my favorite food place ever. So yeah, that was a fun time. <laughs> that was, it was a cool time. So I think if you could like zoom out for my entire life, like it's kind of just been steady growth, like the whole time. Starting really, really low at the bottom in a lot of areas and just like from everywhere to just who I am as a person and sports and business, everything, just starting as low as possible and just slowly growing. Look at how the channel's growing, right? As we're making this, we're getting really close to hitting 1 million subscribers on our biggest channel. And yeah, we've had, we've had things that have definitely moved the needle and and giving us jumps but overall it's just been years and years of hard work and sometimes having to work harder in areas and other people is just never just being like easy but staying with it staying consistent and seeing results from it and that's kind of just become our message but with that being said if you've been paying close attention there was a moment where like it seemed like something clicked for me right and people ask me like what kind of happened though like you got a little bit more serious about God it seems like and I don't know it just looks like you started to improve in certain areas right you stop getting as mad you stop cussing just a heads up y'all i've been work <laughs> i've been working really hard on my cursing and i've i've come a long way yo shirt is ugly lay it down yeah y'all watch my video i i don't curse no more and i just don't I was gonna say in my videos, but I, I just legit don't be cursing too. Um, you know, that's stuff that we can just see from watching, but like what caused it and, and what else went on? And I think that's a good question. Probably one I don't talk about enough, but again, it kind of fit to the overall theme of my life. There was no near death experience. Like an angel didn't come down and sing to me. It was just the culmination of a lot of years of just trying to get better and trying to learn. And I can remember a season where my wife and I, we had just got married. We got a place of our own. And I just got really addicted to just learning more and I was reading all the time. So here's your boy's book collection. These are like my physical copies. Um, kind of see it. Uh, this is all the books I have. I mean, I have like a lot of books just like scattered around. There's some like by my bed, there's some on all the desks, but this for the most part, this is all I own of like physical books. I probably have half of what you see here in like audio books on, on something like audible.com or just on my hard drive. And I probably have like a quarter of this in the form of courses, online courses that I've, that I've bought. And I was just learning, 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 trying to figure life out, right? Like I would just read one book and my world would expand. Like I just knew so much more. So I was like, eventually I'm gonna just expand so much I'm gonna know everything, right? And what's ironic about that is that process got me to feel myself so much and believe in myself so much and understand so many things about the world and how it worked that, you know, a little broke black kid, I never thought had the ability of even thinking like that, right? And I got so addicted to that that I had a season where I was like, I don't even think that I need God. Like, this is feeling good. Like, I just felt so much control. And I was like, I don't think I need this guy character. And I grew up, you know, as a Christian. 
and I really flirted with that and I did my best. I was like, yeah, let's create a world where God doesn't exist. You don't need him because look, then all the pressure's off. Like you get to do so much more. You could have so much more fun. And it was, it was crazy. I, just, I had a season where I thought I didn't need him. But long story short, my quest for endless knowledge and then even trying to like disprove God kind of just like led me right to him. And so I just started readdressing a lot of things in my life and, and growth just naturally came. So it sounds weird, but the amazing growth didn't even come from trying to have amazing growth. It came from me just being real with myself and saying, you've been faking the funk for a while. You don't really have a relationship with God, but you realize there's something at the end of all this knowledge. There's something there, but you don't know anything about it. And that was just it. It was me just trying to build a relationship with God. And as a result of that, growth was just happening. And I was like, you know what, let me stop cussing. You know what, let me do this, let me do that. And I was growing in every area of my life. And if there was anything I was so proud of when looking at the team's evolution videos is they was doing the same thing. Like, this is cool, we're celebrating this evolution from here to here. But if only you knew this is just the beginning from going from here to here and there's lessons being learned every day, mistakes being made every day, and it's just, it's the process. Having Dion in my life as a mentor is, has completely changed it, to be honest with you. Um, I moved out here from Arizona where I was living pretty much a dead end life. I had my nine to five, I had my hood rat friends and I did hood rat activities. And I probably would still be doing that now, you know, still be stuck, I'd probably have a kid or two. Like, yeah, I, I've been through a lot, man. And, uh, I need to express to y'all, man, how much this man has helped me you know, get off of that track and be who I am today. Even who I am today is still kind of messed up, but nowhere near as much as I would have been if I stayed in Arizona. From literally the moment I moved out here, he was invested into making my future a reality. He took time out of his own life to invest in mine. And like, I'm his in-law. Some people don't even like their in-laws, you know what I mean? So for him to do that is, is crazy, man. It's so crazy. I, I can't thank him enough. Like, I look up to him as a father figure, as a big brother, as a mentor, and he's probably one of the best in all three of those categories that I've ever had, you know? So like, I just, I just thank him. I respect him so much, yo. I respect him more than, more than, woo! I respect that dude a ton. He's, he saved my life on a lot of occasions. I don't really, I don't really talk about it much. Some, <laughs> some of my family watching this may not even know but I really struggled with suicidal thoughts for a long time. I wouldn't even say a long time. I would say like a long period of time, like three to four months, man. I was just ready to boop, boop. And his, his guidance, his, you know, he just makes everything seem not that bad. Like when I big it up in my head and you know, I'm crying and I'm broken and I don't want to do it anymore. Like I could go talk to him and like, I would feel okay. I would feel like I have a purpose in life. I would feel like I, there's something I'm supposed to be here doing. You know, I don't get that feeling for myself. And you know, Dion, <laughs> he's, he's kept me alive. I know it's pretty extreme. Like I'm not trying to be extreme, but like, yeah, he has for real. He really has like, you know, we're a lot better now. And, and he's a big part of that, man. He's a big part of that. Like so much this man has done for me. So, so, so much. It's crazy. Dion and I have been together for such a long time. The biggest change in him that's been the most significant to me, and it kind of sounds like, oh, well, that's everything, but try and bear with me, is just watching him grow up, really. I fell in love with this young, handsome boy that was little cursing, basketball playing, confrontational savage. <laughs> and still manage to stay in love with a man that he's grown up to and the father that he's become and a business owner that he is. It's just been cool just watching those little things transform. But I guess if I have to just narrow it down to one thing, it would just say how chill he is. Like he used to be, he's a savage. <laughs> those of you guys that have been catching like his throwback tweets that I've been sending him from my memories on Facebook, like he's a savage but now he's all grown and patient and wise, I guess. So that's been cool. It's made for a pretty awesome life partner as adults who's still able to be fun, but in a much less savage kind of way. This whole thing has definitely been one big roller coaster. 
I appreciate everyone that you know has supported the movement from you guys watching to anyone that's invested in anything we've ever put out there to the people that have actually come on to work and partner with me and my wife to try and take this mission to the next level. And it's just crazy. Not only have we each had our own individual ev evolutions, the entire Maverick movement has a story of its own in its own evolution and its own vision for the future. What up people, it's your boy Dion, AKA the one dude that made the break down, AKA from YouTube did with fireballs, AKA fireball D, AKA oh he's got a fireball. That's me, I, I make balls of fire come from my hand and I hit people with them. Yes, I do. And let me tell you something, one of my fireballs up your all your swagger, straight up. Ah!